Hello. Uh, in this video, I'll try to address a problem that many people face when they are working with uh, GIS. And that is, uh, they can actually see a KML file inside Google Earth Pro. For example, I have a KML file here, which is showing me some uh, forest compartments. So if I go here and click on uh, any of these compartments, uh, say for example, this one, I can actually see attribute information clearly displayed. I can come and click on any other compartment and the attribute table is clearly displayed inside Google Earth Pro, as you can see. So if you were to come on this side and right click and click on properties, um, we come to see that all the attributes have actually been put inside the description field as HTML. So you can see how the attributes have actually been uh, inserted in the KML file that is inside the description box as HTML table. So uh, while you can see this quite easily inside Google Earth Pro by clicking on any particular polygon, uh, when we try to bring this KML file inside a GIS package like QGIS, we obviously want to make sure that these attributes are also imported successfully. So let's try to do that. We have access to this file and we want to bring this KML file or KMZ file inside QGIS and maybe save it as a shape file. So here I have my QGIS window and I'm seeing my KMZ file here that I have downloaded and saved. So I'm going to bring this inside QGIS. I'm just going to grab hold of it from my folder and then just come and drop it inside the, uh, the QGIS canvas window. So when I do that, I have this file right here and under normal circumstances to save this as a KML file, I would just right click and go to export and save features as, and then I can save it uh, by just by giving a file name and I can choose uh, uh, a shape file or I can choose a geo package uh, so on and so forth in this case say I wanted to save it as a shape file all I have to do is to give uh, a file name and this would be saved as a shape file but before we do that let's just inspect uh, the attribute table of this imported kmz file we'll just come here and click on this table and what we find here is a lot of information um, but sadly uh, not the one that we are actually looking for because all that information we have uh, a field called as time stamp begin end and so on and so forth these are all uh, google earth pro fields that at this particular point in time we are not really interested in what we are interested in is actually all packed inside the description field and um, we don't have uh, you know direct access to it so as we mouse over, we can see all that information, but that's all inside one single field. Whereas what we would have wanted was to actually have all these different fields right up here as uh, individual fields. So how do we actually bring this out? Because all this information is inside HTML and this is inside this particular description field. So to, to solve this problem, um, we will have to install a plugin. If I can just show this uh, plugin, manage and install plugins. And uh, the name of the plugin is KML tool. So you can click on all and then you can just come here and type in KML tools. So you should be able to see this immediately. Just click on it. And once you are able to see this you can just come here and click on install plugin i have already installed this plugin so once this plugin is installed you can just close this uh, dialog and then this plugin becomes available from vector as kml tools and also as raster through kml tools so as we are dealing with a vector file we will just click on vector and click on KML tools. So when you click on KML tools, you will find that there are a few options here. And the option that we are interested in at this particular point in time is the third option. And it is to expand the HTML description field because all the information that we need is packed inside the description field. So let's just click on this. 
So a dialog box opens up and uh, the field that we are interested in is the description field. If uh, whatever we were looking for was packed inside some other field, we could have picked that. But here we are interested in the description field because everything that we are interested in in terms of attributes uh, has been written in HTML format. So we will let the default be expand from a two column HTML table. The output layer will be called as the expanded KML layer. You can call it anything that you want. So basically, once you have used the KML tools plugin option, you get this dialog box and you have to practically touch nothing uh, because the defaults are quite good. Just wanting to make sure that uh, the description field is actually description and expand from a two column HTML table has been chosen and just go ahead and press OK. So this is going to create a new layer, an exact copy of this layer and it will name it as expanded KML layer. So we'll just go ahead and press OK and it is now showing us um, all the fields that we are interested in that we want to import. So um, at this time we can take a choice and um, we are interested in all the fields that are inside the HTML tags uh, under the description field. So we are going to come here and click on select all and then just go ahead and press OK. So when we do this, a new layer is added to the uh, QGIS table of contents or the layers panel. And um, we can even get rid of the old uh, file if we wanted to. So let me just remove that because we now have a copy uh, of that exact same KML file. But this time around, if we can just open the attribute table of uh, this newly created file, we will find that uh, not only all the previous attributes are here, if you can just uh, expand this table, we will find that all the attributes that were packed inside the description field, they have now become independent fields uh, inside this attribute table. And now we can just uh, bring this table in the editing mode and then go ahead and click on um, this icon which is delete fields. So we can delete everything that we are not interested in. So just keep selecting everything that uh, we might not be interested in. And uh, leaving behind all the fields that we want in our attribute table as you can see here and in fact we can even get rid of the description field but let's not do that for a, a little second so just go ahead and press ok so when you do that you will find that all the other fields have gone the only field that is remaining is the description field whatever is inside the description field all this has now come out here as you can see and so if we want to get rid of the description field, we can just go ahead and open that uh, delete fields dialog box once again, click on description and press OK. So the description field has also gone. If there are some empty fields, you can delete them or let them be and just save it and then just close it uh, for editing. So we now have the expanded layer KML file. When we open the attribute table, we have all the attributes that we want just the way we want them. And then we can now right click and then go to export and click on save features as and then give a file name. So I'm going to give a file name here. This could be like forest blocks and let's go ahead and press save. You can also change the, the CRS. We are going to go ahead and press OK. So we get our forest blocks shape file. We can now get rid of uh, the original KML file that we have used to create this shape file. This is our shape file and when we open the attribute table, it is exactly as we want the attribute table to be. So this is how you can actually import a KML file into QGIS and extract the attributes that have been inserted inside the description field. I hope this video has been useful. Thank you very much for watching.